Good afternoon, you guys. Good afternoon. Another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. Yes, yes, yes. The rain came down today. But hey, what can I say? Well, nothing I can do about it but try to stay safe. But yet, I still found time to give God some praise today. I went to Sunday school, then we had church service, and we had communion today. So yes, honey, it was all good and all worth it to give God his due. So I didn't mind. Everything was good. <laughs> but anyway, I have decided to come on here right quick to show you all what I had cooked this day. I've been relaxing watching television after I did this, so I was late coming on. But nonetheless, I still um, managed. To, I said, let me get up here and show them this food. <laughs> but yes, I did something quick, something simple, but yet uh, tasty. You know, that's how I do. You know how the big chef Deb do. But anyway, yes, today I'm start off with my barbecue chicken. I did some barbecue chicken today. Came out real nice. I um, had glaze, uh, coated it with some olive oil. And then I used a little mustard. And I put some hot sauce in there. And I had some um, onion powder. I had some garlic powder. Some paprika. A lot of cayenne pepper. A little uh, seasoning salt and then I had some uh, flake onions some dried flakes onions and man it came out so beautiful and it's glazed up real nice and it smells so good with that barbecue sauce on it so that's what that is oh yeah and I use some of that apple cider um, um, smoke liquor smoke I use the apple kind this time I wanted to try a different liquor smoke so that's what that is, and I shook it all up together with the seasoning and everything, and it came out so good. Sure did, and it's tender. It's not even dry or anything like that. And next, I have some canned corn, some that kernel corn, rather. <laughs> it has uh, a fourth cup of butter, black pepper, a little, um, and I put two tablespoons of sugar in there, and it came out so good. And um. Didn't take long to do that, and I love that. That corn, corn came out real nice, real good, and not too um, too watery. Cause I don't like it. I like it crispy, like you know. I don't like to overcook my corn. And I did some good string beans. Yeah, some string beans with um, one tablespoon of onion powder in there, one tablespoon of butter, and I put me some iced potatoes in there. Yes, I wanted some iced potatoes, so I did that, in, um, and I put a little sea salt in there instead of regular salt. I used some sea salt, and it smells so good with that onion powder in there, and black, pe oh, and black pepper. That's what I put in there, so that was what I did. Some string beans, and last but not least, I did some cornbread. Mm -hmm. Cornbread from scratch. <laughs> I said, why well, you didn't come out smooth on the top, but hey, it's all good. <laughs> Uh, it is all good, but that's what I did. Cornbread. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you guys, I know that it was a, uh, not a too good a day today, but we had to still live uh, for it and enjoy the day, regardless of the weather, you know, because there's a lot of things we still have to do in the weather anyway. You know, the only thing we have to do is drive safe and be careful out there and, uh, you know, just relax if you're at home. Uh, and um, ain't nothing we could do about it because that's the Lord's work. But anyway, I want us to continue our prayers, you guys, for our bereaved family, for the sick and shut-in, those that are in the hospital, those that are in the nursery home, and those that are or at home. We want to say a special prayer to our friend, Diane Young, and her family. Special prayer to Diane Young and her family. We love you, Diane, and your family. So let's send out a special prayer for Diane Young, you guys. But anyway, you guys... I like to um, <clears throat> thank you all for always viewing and checking up on your girl and giving me those good likes and those beautiful posts and comments that you all make. I appreciate it from you guys. You know I do from the bottom of my heart. With, but with that being said, you guys, stay safe, stay blessed, love on each other. Let somebody know that you love them. And please check on each other, you guys. It, it's no cost, nothing but a time, you know what I'm saying? time to do that share your time with your loved ones call them text them go visit if you can you know because we never know we just never know 
But anyway, you guys, stay safe, be blessed, and as, as always, bon appetit. And I love you guys. Yes, I do. Ha, 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 ha.